black guys. So for today's trick, I just need to be using these four special cards. And these four cards just so happen to be the one, two, three, four queens. So here's what's gonna happen in the trick. All that's gonna happen is I'm going to be turning the queens over from face down to face up, or actually in this case, from face up to face down. And that's what's gonna be happening in the trick. So currently you can see that all the queens are facing the same direction, right? But when I snap my fingers, just like that, one of the queens actually turns over. So now we have uh, three queens face up, one queen face down. When I snap my fingers, you should see that now another queen actually turns over, leaving us with two face up, two face down. So when I snap my fingers again, you can now see that we have three face down, just like this, and one face up. So for the last one, all I have to do is snap my fingers once again, and just like this, now we should have every single queen facing the same direction, and that is the trick. All right, guys, so here's the tutorial for the trick that you just saw. So you're just gonna need any four cards that you want, um, I personally like to use the four queens. So this trick is taught by Xavier Spade on his YouTube channel. If you don't know who he is, go ahead and check him out. He's a really, really great magician. And this trick is an original one of his. I think it's a combination of Twisting the Aces and Asher Twist by Lee Asher. So this is the tutorial for Twisting the Asher. You're gonna start with them in just alternating red, black, red, black order. That's just how I like to start off. And when you do this, you're in the perfect position to go. So you're gonna flip over the cards and you're gonna begin. So you're gonna hold the cards in middle grip here and you're gonna be counting the cards off one at a time displaying the queens for the spectator so all you're gonna do is count one queen just like this and then you're gonna place your pinky down and just get ready for a break because now you're gonna peel off the other three one two three and just keep a break separating this bottom queen here from these three queens on top that's all you have to do so now you have a break so now what you're gonna do is you're going to be secretly turning over all of the cards except for this bottom card so you're gonna be basically sliding all the cards back holding this pinky break just like this so you're gonna be sliding the cards from here to here, you're going to slide all the cards above the break forward, and then you're going to begin by turning over these three cards here just like this, and make sure they go um, in front of this Queen of Hearts. Make sure they don't go behind. Make sure they go in front just like this. Once those cards have cleared the Queen of Hearts, you can begin by turning over the cards just like this, and then everything can be squared up. Just practice this move in front of a mirror and it should look pretty invisible. So it should, you should actually angle your hand up like this and then the spectator won't be able to see uh, that queen being hidden in your hand. But you should sort of maybe put it in like a gambler's cop position just like this if you guys would like to do that. But if you just do it fast, the spectator won't notice it. So you're just gonna go like this and then turn over those three cards, leaving that bottom one face up. So that's the entire move right there. So once you're in this position, you're going to be explaining to the spectator what's gonna happen in the trick. So you're gonna peel off the first card and the second card, and then you're gonna be flipping them over on top and saying, we're gonna be turning the cards over just like this. But actually, in this case, we're gonna be turning them over from face up to face down. And this is the perfect opportunity to do this move. So you're gonna basically just be cutting the cards. So you're moving these cards from the top to the bottom. So you're taking these cards, turning them over, and moving them to the bottom. And that's all you have to do. So once those are on the bottom, you square up everything and just be sure not to flash that face up queen because there is a face up queen there. So now you're gonna turn over everything normally and then you're going to perform a normal Elmsley count. If you don't know how to perform an Elmsley count, the link to my tutorial for it is right up here. Go ahead and watch it. The main move in this trick is the Elmsley count. So if you don't know how to do this trick, I would suggest learning how to do the Elmsley count and then you will know how to do this trick. So once you're in this position, you're a perfect position for an Elmsley count. So you're gonna do an, a regular Elmsley count just like this and it's just hiding that third card. And then you just place everything back together. And now when you snap your fingers, you're just gonna perform another normal Elmsley count and that will display a face down card. Now this top card you would normally place on top, but this top card, just remember to place it on the bottom this time. So when you place it on the bottom, you should be in this position here. Face down card on top, three face up queens on the bottom. So now when you snap your fingers again, you're gonna do another normal Elmsley count just like this another regular Elmsley count. This card will end up here on top, but this is where the secret move comes in. So now you're gonna need to do a pinky pull down on this bottom card here, in this case, the Queen of Spades, but it doesn't matter what this queen is, just the bottom queen uh, within those three cards right here. So just pull down the bottom card. This card is gonna go sort of out jogged here um, on top, and it's gonna kind of be angled a little bit to the left, and your thumb is gonna clamp down on it just like this. Now your fingers are going to be inserted inside of this gap here, just like this. Your right thumb is gonna hold these two cards here. So your right thumb is gonna hold these two cards. Your finger here is gonna curl under, and you're just gonna be turning that card over just like this. And when you turn that card over, you're gonna take the card with your fingers here, and your thumb with this top card here, and then these fingers will remove those two cards from the middle. So it should look something like this. So all you've done is you've actually just done a normal Elmsley count like this. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, 
get a break just like this, and then move this card here, clamp it down with your thumb, grab these two cards in the middle with your fingers, and then use your index finger to curl underneath and flip over that card as you grab it, and then you show the cards just like this. And once again, this is a move that you have to practice in the mirror because it should look invisible to the spectator. So once you display these, just be sure to put the face down cards on top of the face up cards. So now you're in this position, you have two face down and two face up. Third phase, you're gonna snap your fingers and it's pretty much the exact same thing as the last one. So you're just gonna do a normal Elmsley count. Now it looks like there's three face down. You're gonna do another pinky break just like this. So pull down the bottom card, place this card on top, out jog to the left, clamp it down with your thumb, grab these two cards in the middle, and then separate your hands, and at the same time, use your index finger here to just kind of flip over this card, just like this, and it should look something like that. So now you should have three face down and one face up right here, the Queen of Diamonds. So once again, you're gonna be placing the left hand cards, or the face down cards, on top of the right hand cards here. So put all those cards together, just like this, now you should be in this position, which is a perfect position for the final Elmsley count. This is the final phase. So when you snap your fingers, you're just going to do another normal Elmsley count just like this, and you, then you're going to do the exact same turnover move. So you're going to get a pinky break on that bottom card, put this top card here, angled to the left, put your fingers in here, get ready to grab that card. Index finger is curled underneath just like this, and then you're just going to be pulling out everything together. Pull this hand out, and then at the same time, your index finger just kind of turns that card over and now you can display four face down cards. And then you're gonna reveal everything just like this. You just flip over everything and then show the cards off. And now they can examine the cards. So this is an extremely cool impromptu little packet trick. This is definitely a go-to effect that I would do. If you have someone like give you a deck of cards and say, do a trick, I, I would instantly do this trick. So just pull out four queens or any four of a kind and then do this awesome effect. So anyways, guys, that's gonna be the tutorial for this trick. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you guys for my next video. Bye.